You might have heard people talking about EndNote. EndNote is a reference management tool that will help you to collect all of your references in one place and then export them into a Word document in the correct Brooks Harvard format. So if you put some effort into getting it set up and learning how to use it, it can save you a lot of time in the long run. The web and desktop versions of EndNote are supplied free for students through the Brooks Library. There are slight differences between these two versions. I actually use both. I keep most of my references on the desktop version. So that is linked to a particular computer. You store your references in a file on your computer. The desktop version has a bit more functionality and I find it easier to import references into the desktop version. But I also have an EndNote web account and I back up my references into the cloud using that. And that means that you can also access that from other devices as well. So it takes some time to, to set up, as I mentioned. You need to make sure that you get the right referencing style into your EndNote software. And you need to do things like make sure that you set up the link between EndNote and Word so that you can export your references there. You can export references from library search, from lots of journal articles, databases, um, and it will store all the details that you need for a reference for that type of source. It's best, I think, to learn how to reference manually first so that you can check what the results that EndNote gives you, because they're not always perfect. So it's good idea to learn to reference in the Brooks Harvard style. And then I think when you get to assignments that have more references, particularly if you're doing a dissertation, that's a really good time to get set up with EndNote because you'll be managing a large volume of references and this is an easy way to do it. You can find EndNote on the library website by going to the library homepage scrolling down to the referencing button and then clicking through there to the referencing pages and then look for the button that says EndNote Reference Management. You'll find links for the web version and the desktop version there and some detailed instructions on how to install it and start using it. There are often training sessions available and advertised on these web pages that you can join in to learn how to make the best use of EndNote.